Hi guys, it's Deborah from Thomas Jewel by Deborah. Today we are opening a five pound Lake Worth, Florida Goodwill Blue Box. Hope everyone is doing very well today. Let's hope we get some pretties in here. We've had pretty good luck with the Lake Worth, Florida boxes. So let's see if we can keep our streak running. I think the last time I opened a Goodwill box. It was pretty much crapped. All right. Well, here is the first look. All right. Let's pull these out. Oh, I see feathers. Yuck. Oh. <laughs> All right. Lots of little beads, I see. And it looks like we're definitely, definitely going to be do some, doing some detangling. All right. Get this stuff back in there. I'm going to separate and we'll get started. Okay, so this is all the broken, beaded items and knotted items. So these are going to go into a craft lot. And these are either onesie earrings or just all of the earrings. And I'm going to put those to the side and go through those later. Oh my gosh, you guys, there are some great pieces. Alrighty, so I've got everything detangled, and we got those earrings set aside. I'll go through those at a later date. There are some items that I will most likely be pulling from my first live sale. I still don't have a date on that yet. Uh, let me know in the comments what's the best time for you guys, Monday through Sunday, or Sunday through Saturday, what time i am thinking in the morning on mondays maybe 9 or 10 a.m central standard time and then go from there but i'd like to get your guys's input to see when you would be available for a live sale i am so looking forward to it and there are some pieces in here that i will be probably pulling for the live sale but i will give you guys first tips okay so this has had a lot of craft a lot of broken but it has some fantastic pieces all right let's just go with this look chanel right silver tone i'm still doing some research on it but it is missing six of the stones on here and they did make these in a fashion line this is not silver it is just silver tone so i am still doing a little bit of research on that and uh i don't know doing some more research <laughs> put that to the side hello my darling look at this i saw this and i said oh my god marilyn from shady and why would love this piece this is an amadeo it is gold tone with the five cameos. Now these are resin with green faceted stones and then clear rhinestones surround her. Is she not fantastic? This is Amadeo. Let's see if I can bring that up for you. A-M-E-D-E-O. Now they do make a line of 18 karat gold sterling silver with real cameos and i call them real because they're using shell um, this is their fashion line and is she not fantastic so i was thinking about pulling her for the sale because she's just fantastic she would fit around a seven you open it here and it comes down if i can get it open there's the amadeo Put it on my wrist i'm a seven and she fits me like a glove so these run all over the place they run up to about 150 dollars and that's for the fashion line so if anyone is interested in her i will do a hundred dollars on her um otherwise i'm gonna pull her and put her in our first live sale she's not fantastic look at that and the reason I can tell it's resin is when I click on it, it doesn't sound like shell. Plus, when I look at it under the magnifying glass, I can see how it's machine made and not hand carved. 
and you can also see the resin. So, but isn't she lovely? Ugh, love it. Best piece in this box. I tell you, sometimes these like work are fantastic. The next really cool piece is a Henry Bendel. It is marked here. There you go. Bracelet. It's tiny. Teeny tiny. It's pretty small. I can't get it on. So it's about a six. And it's black leather. Or I'm sorry, black like a, a rubber composite. Really pretty. There's a tiny bit of wear here. But if anyone is interested in the Henry Bendel, I can do him for 40 Otherwise, I will pull him for the first sale. All right. Oh, yes. Let's see. This, we're going to test. This looks like alpaca to me um, due to the color. And there is some coloring here. So this could be a faux silver, but it could also be alpaca. So I will pull that and test it. It does have inlay, mother of pearl, and abalone shell so it's pretty tiny too I, ooh, I can barely get it on so yeah it's about a six it's really pretty so that i will test for alpaca now alpaca silver is not really silver it looks like silver but it is not so um we'll pull that and test it pretty all right let's get to some lovelies and then oh i forgot how did I forget these? I got two Judith Jack pieces. This is fantastic. It is, this is a ribbon and it's magnetic. It's gorgeous. It's marked here, Judith Jack. Excuse me. Judith Ripka. I don't know why I keep saying Judith Jack. It's Judith Ripka. Beautiful, easy necklace. You can put a pendant on there so I love this one so for the Judith Ripka I would do I would do 25 on this if anyone's interested all right and then I got another one another Judith Ripka this is fantastic this is beaded leather bring that up so you can see that look at this beautiful workmanship on here and it is marked as well this one i would do oh you know what i didn't even give you guys a measurement sorry about that hmm. let me get you a measurement let me do the silver one first all right so the silver one which is a ribbon a like a string is an eight inch drop okay and the leather is 15 inches this is fantastic so oh, love her put that in there all right so that is it for the super fantabulous pieces i was so excited to see all right let's go with this i love this this is hematite with uh, white beads that have silver tone little like rhinestones adjustable very nice looks like it's in good condition i did not see any missing stones here it's lovely let's do her for five okay this looks like it might have been maybe new or it was hanging i'm not sure brass tone these are plastic orange multicolored beads with seed these are plastic beads with uh shell excuse me and it's adjustable that is a nice bracelet. Let's do her for three. All right. This one I love. This is just beautiful. It looks like maybe it would need to be restrung. It's pretty stiff. But you can see where the metal rubs onto the beads. Those are plastic. And the black ones are glass. And here we go. Look at that. That is a statement right there. It has all the stones. There's a little bit of markings on this. But yeah, I would recommend if you have a bigger wrist to maybe restring it. Or if you have a small wrist and you can fit it over, then 
it is great it needs a good cleaning and i uh, do not clean any of the jewelry okay so it's about a six and a half she's lovely let's do her for five all right this one looks like maybe it's sterling maybe let's see it's not magnetic let me grab my tester and we will test it now all right so i've got my block we are going to scrape a good scratch it's hard to tell sometimes you can tell from the scratch and then i'm going to do this one as well Ooh, sorry if that noise is bothering anybody <laughs> All right, so we did a bead, and then we did the larger, larger, this larger bead was the second scratch. All right. Let's see if this is, ooh, this stuff came out quick. Very quick. It doesn't look like it's silver. It's not eating the line, but it is also not turning blue. So it is not silver. So it is some sort of base metal. I don't believe it's a stainless steel, so I am not sure what kind of alloy it is, but it is still very nice. So for this piece, let's do three. Oh, you know what? Since I have this out, let's test this, and we'll see if this is silver or alpaca. All right, the scratch, it's kind of hard to tell that side, and then we'll scratch over here as well. I'm not, I'm thinking it is not, that scratch doesn't look silver enough to me. And when you do this enough, you get to know what the silver scratches look like. Nope, it ate it right away. No blue. So... We are going to say that that is most likely alpaca. It is not signed, but it is a beautiful piece with the inlay. So if you guys are interested in that, let's do 15. She's still lovely. All right. Let's see what do we get. Oh, I love this bracelet. It's on an antique to brass tone with peach and pink and green stones that is what the back looks like there is no maker's mark on it bring that up so you can see that let me bring you up so you can see the color isn't that lovely i love it spring is coming i promise it's coming all right so this is small if it's a seven exactly that does not look like there's any missing stones she is lovely. Let's do her for five. All right, now this is pretty. Hmm, I'm wondering if this is silver. Well, we've got the test supplies out. Let's give her a test. I'm gonna open this. So we will test the clasp. And then we will test this big centerpiece right here. If we can get a scratch on that. All right, and we're going to see if this baby is sterling. It's pretty. I love that with the faceted purples. All right. Got the drops on. Oh, it's sterling. Can you guys see that? You see that blue? Look at that. That is really bright. Gorgeous. Okay. So this is sterling, and these look like glass crystals. That is beautiful. Let me get you a measurement on her. I am going to wipe the acid off. So in case we need to test more, it has time to dry. All right. So this lovely bracelet measures in at about seven and a half. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness for this bracelet let's do let's do 30 she's gorgeous all right these are really pretty 
silver tone. They look like cubic zirconia earrings because of the shine. Now, if these were diamonds, it'd be fantastic, but I don't believe so. I did not see any markings on these. We will go ahead and test. Let's test in a spot over here. Nope, I can tell right there. Now, do you guys see that? That looks like bronze, so it is not sterling silver, but they are beautiful earrings. Let me bring those up for you. There is such beautiful sparkle to those. All right, so it's just over a half of an inch. These are fantastic. Let's see. Let's do five for those. Gorgeous. All right. Then we have a silver tone necklace. And you can lay this out here. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, these are plastic. That's plastic, but isn't that beautiful? With the little silver tone hanger. This is plastic as well. It's supposed to look like turquoise. Really pretty. So this is a fashion necklace. Let me get you a measurement on her. She is really pretty. I like it because it's lightweight. Easy to wear. So, you know what? It looks like somebody added an extender. And the reason I say that is because there's a class lobster clasp here and a lobster clasp here and then another one here. So, bonus, I guess. <laughs> You've got an extra length. So, she measures in a 10-inch wearable with the added extender. There is some wear on the chain, but boy, is that pretty. Let's do that one for three. Oh, I like this. Silver tone with gold tone. Black rhinestone center. Hinged cup. Wow, really pretty. I don't see a maker's mark. I wear a seven, and it just barely fits me. So I would say about six and three quarters. But that is a lovely piece. Let me get you the width on this. Okay, she measures in at just over one inch. Isn't that beautiful? I really like this. No maker's mark. So for this piece, let's do 10. This is a great piece. I love this. There is no maker's mark on it. Here is the clasp. Nice chain. And what this is, is it has like a like a spongy piece of felt and you open this up let me see this side and you can put perfume in it oops i had it open isn't that pretty so you can put your favorite perfume right there i love this piece how pretty with that tree on there spring is coming all right let's see she measures in at a 10-inch wearable. There is an extender of about an inch and a half. That is a beautiful piece. I like that. Let's do, let's do that one for five. All right. Whoops. This is cool. Magnetic. No maker's mark. A little tiny bit of wear here on the metallic. And it is... A gunmetal and more of a blackish brass and a antiqued silver tone. This is pretty easy on, easy off. I wear a seven and it fits me perfect. That is really a nice piece. Let's do that bracelet for five. Okay, then we have a stretch bracelet. Faux pearls definitely needs a cleaning. We'll put those in craft for a dollar. All right, let's get some bangles. There is a bunch of bangles here. All right. This is silver tone. I don't believe it's sterling just by the way it looks. Uh, we do have the testing materials here, so let's go ahead and test it. Now, nope, you can see right there, it is a brass color. So that is not sterling. Interesting wave design. It's pretty big. I can't get it on my arm, but... On my hand. 
I would say about an eight, eight and a half, or I'm sorry, eight to an eight and a quarter. No maker's mark. Definitely needs a good cleaning. Oh, let's do that for three. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is a Gorgiana. I noticed that right away. Gorgiana. And this is what... It's a GG. That's what the hang tag looks like. That's pretty. Gold tone. Oh, this one's a Gorgiana as well. So let's do this one first. Let me get you a measurement on her. Okay. So with the safety chain, it would be a seven and a half. That's a really pretty piece. So let's do her for five. And then for the other Gorgiana, this one has small rhinestones in it. It's got its safety chain. And this one would fit just about seven and a quarter to seven and a half. That's really pretty. We'll do that one for five as well. Okay, now we have some brass tone bangles. Oh, they're all hooked together. So those are pretty. I like the texture on it. They're about seven and three quarters. Let me bring that up so you can see. That is really nice. Well, let's do those for five. We have a very large silver tone bangle. I think it's too big for my mandrel. It is. And this goes up to a nine. So, and I can get it on my big old hand. <laughs> nice. Very big. So for this one, let's put her in for a dollar. Oh, I like this. This is very dainty. Gold tone with little rhinestones. Just making sure the rhinestones are all there. Yes, they are. It is stretch. She measures in naturally at a six and a half, but you could go up to probably a seven comfortably. That's really pretty. Let's do her for three. All right, then we have another silver tone bangle. I don't, yeah, definitely not sterling. It sticks to the magnet. It's got some wear issues. It is seven and a half. Let's put her in craft for a dollar. All right, let's bring some more up here. This is pretty, it's a purple, okay, it says made in China, purple strap, like a watch band, but nowhere for a watch to go. It is dirty, so you know what? We'll put that in craft for a dollar. Oh, this is pretty. Turquoise colored brass tone and white seed beads on a silver tone string. Let me get you a measurement on this. There is an extender. So it's eight and a quarter. And then it has a two inch extender. So it could be worn as an anklet as well. Let's do that one for three. Okay. And then we have this beautiful gold tone heart pendant necklace with two rhinestones. It's lovely. Nice piece. Doesn't look like it has any maker's mark. She measures in at a nine inch wearable. That is really pretty. Let's do her for five. All right, oh, we do have a couple more bracelets here. This is silver tone, starfish. It's got a magnetic clip. I do not see any maker's mark. It does not look like sterling. Uh, it's in pretty bad condition. Let's do that for a dollar in craft. Then we have a, another craft piece here. This is a plastic bead tribal decoration. It's a expandable bracelet. So put that in craft for a dollar. This is interesting. Let's see. Is this marked? I'm not sure what that says. It looks like it says 1K Fung. Okay, so it says Yeek Fung, Y-I-K-F-U-N-G. It's pretty. Silver tone. Really pretty dangles on this. Let me get you a measurement on her. So the shortest that this can go would be a seven. 
and the largest this can go would be just about seven and three quarters inch that's neat i like that piece let's do that for three all right i don't think we got many rings i see two rings okay this is fun fashion silver tone i love it it's huge with a i think that's plastic feels like a lucite faceted green stone very nice it fits a seven and a half that's a lovely green color perfect for st patrick's so for this ring let's do three oh isn't this fun look at that another valentine's day sort of <laughs> Pink rhinestones with silver tone. Stretch ring. Wow, she's pretty. I really like it. Doesn't look like there's any missing stones. Let me bring her up so you can see the color of the Aurora Borealis on the center. Very nice. Let's do three on that one. All right. Then we have a whole bunch of strands okay these are together there's an angel on there on this chain and these are all glass beads and it says evolve and j e okay i'm looking this up here and i know who this is i saw the evolve and i was like hmm J.E. is for John Edwards. He is a psychic <laughs> and a medium. He used to have a TV show, and uh, I know he does have websites and still practices. Um, I believe he's out of New Jersey or New York, somewhere on the East Coast. Uh, this is great. These are glass. Let's see what Mr. Google has to say. Okay. Hmm, I guess they were sold at HSN. Let's see. Evolve bracelet. Let's see what the Etsy one says. We'll visit Etsy. See if it is sold or if they still have it available. I don't see it. We'll go back. Those are neat. Okay, let's see what the HSN one said. Okay, what? Wow. If that's right, no way. A oh, list price, 500 Our price, 999 That's insane. <laughs> okay, it says, Take your personal and spiritual evolution to a higher level with Evolve from John Edward. These are multifaceted chakra bracelets. Red, orange, yellow, green, a light blue, and light purple, clear faceted glass beads with the spacer chakra. That is really neat. Okay. $99.90 is what they were originally selling it for. I'm not doing it for that. Well, let's do this chakra bracelet for 10 It's pretty. I love Google sometimes. Sometimes it can be great. All right, this looks like... Oh, this is going to craft for a dollar. It's broke. Oh, this is pretty. It's a multi-chain necklace with a latch. I'm looking for a maker's mark here. Oh, there is. There is a maker's mark. It says art. A-R-T. Let's take a peek. I can't remember how long art has been around. Art, costume, jewelry. Can't spell there. Jewelry company. I have fat fingers. <laughs> History. Okay, let's see. Art, costume, jewelry. Go under all. Let's see if we can find some information on art. Okay. 
it took me off into a rabbit hole. So here is art. This is from the Spruce Crafts. I really like this website. Mode Art, a jewelry company, company founded in New York City in the late 1940s, was owned by Arthur Pepper. The art mark was used after 1955, as indicated by the copyright symbol. The company also used the mark Mode Art in its pieces. Mode Art uh, competed directly with Florenza in terms of styles. And let's see. Hmm. All right. So after 1955, that is a really pretty multi strand gold tone. It's in pretty good condition. There is wear on the pearls here. The coloration has come off, but it is still a very lovely vintage piece. And some people do love to collect art. The smallest would be a seven inch wearable. That's lovely. Even with the condition issues, let's do 15 on her. All right, oops. And this was, these two pieces are why I had, to, I had to stop earlier and detangle. The wire is notorious. Okay, this is another branded piece. I don't recognize that symbol. Let's see what it says. It looks like it says Ikea. I-K-I-T-A. Lovely piece. So, yes, Ikea. It is a silver tone flower and it's textured and it looks like it may have like a silver tone wash to it on the inside a little bit of loss on it this is a wire let me get you a measurement on this piece she's pretty i like her different so she has an eight inch wearable and that does include the extender being full out and you can see here there is somewhere on the clasp so let's do her for three all right let's get to this other one i love this piece i think it's just fantastic it looks like pyrite to me but it looks like it has an aurora borealis uh, coloration on it so i'm not sure i'm doing a little more research on it if anyone knows what you would call this leave a comment below and let me know really pretty it is not magnetic even the gold well the clasp is but the wire itself is not so for right now I'm gonna pull this aside and we can do some more research on that all right we're almost done let's see we got paparazzi orange this is really pretty necklace with matching earrings she measures in at an eight inch wearable let's do her for three hematite with orange chips those are translucent let me see those could be carnelian they are not amber i'm giving them the black light and they are not amber so it could be a carnelian or a resin, but that is a really lovely piece. And it's got the barrel clasp here. Beautiful heart design. She is eight inches. Let's do her for five. She's lovely. All right. We still have more tangles. All right. This is pretty. Uh, let's see. It just needs a good cleaning wipe down. Gold tone, faux pearl. It does graduate from smaller to larger. She sits at an 8-inch wearable with another 2-inch extender. Let's do her for 3. All right. This is fun. I love these kind of clasps. It goes inside. Right there. And you push it in. Really pretty. These look like glass beads, and that looks like a stone. That's really pretty. Glass and stone mix. Very small. 
She measures in at an eight. Let's do her for five. All right, then we have a Charming Charlie, different color, blue, sea foam, and darker. That's pretty. Oops, it looks like something got stuck on here. I'll have to get that off for you. It does not belong. So we will take that off. I don't believe there's any missing pieces. You know what? I'm thinking that might have held a, another bead. So there may be a missing piece. Let's put her in craft for a dollar. Okay. Then we have a vintage white beaded graduated necklace with these are more of a brass tone. They're kind of different color be, um, spacers there, you can see. These are lighter and they are more bronze. Very nice vintage piece. It measures in at 11 and a half inches. No maker's mark. Let's do those for five. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful glass pendant on a black string cord. No maker's mark. This cord looks clean. Measures in at 11 and a half inch wearable, but it does have an extender of two inches. She's pretty. Let's do her for three. All right. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nope. This is going in craft for a dollar. Got more bangles. All right. All of these bangles I am going to put into craft. Let me gather them all up. They are either missing a stone or they're not in great condition. There are one, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 16 bangles. We'll do those in craft for, how about $3? Okay. Then we have a silver tone plastic green. That's going in craft for a dollar. Beautiful shell. Looks like this might need to be trimmed off. I would probably tie it first and then trim it off. Beautiful colorations on the shell. She measures in at about seven and a quarter inches. That's really pretty. Let's do that for three. We only have a couple more pieces here. Oh, that's craft. This is also craft. The stretch is really bad on this, but it's kind of interesting. So we'll do that for craft for a dollar. This is in bad condition. That's just going in garbage. Okay, plastic, we'll do that for craft. This would need to be restrung. Silk wrapped necklace in a, I would call this a medium lime green. It's a beautiful color, really nice for spring. She measures in at 14 inch wearable. Let's do her for three. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Blue beaded necklace they all have polka dots on them so i don't know if they are supposed to some have polka dots and some do not i thought maybe that was paint coming off yeah it is it's the paint coming off so we'll put that in craft for a dollar then we have a toggle bracelet with angels that's really super cute it's not in the best condition, but she would be really nice to repurpose. I'll get you a measurement on this. So it sits at an eight inch. Let's do that in craft for a dollar. And the last piece is a vintage gold tone necklace. Let's see if there's any maker's mark. I do not see one. This looks like it's from the 70s or 80s. I'll get you a measurement. She is a gold tone hammered, pretty small. She measures in at a seven inch wearable. 
So because of the condition, let's just do that one for three. So let me know what your favorite pieces are. The cameo. I love it. Love it. The Chanel, I'm pretty sure, is legit, but it is missing stones. The Henry Bendel. And I, I love the Chakra glass beads. It's very pretty and right up my alley. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. And make sure you let me know what time you think that a live Buy It Now auction would be good for you to attend. And leave me any comments and let me know in the comments what kind of items you are looking for. And uh, I can't wait to get this all set up and put together for you guys. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Be well, guys. Bye.